It's a pleasure and an honor to be here today and to look at all the different um, uniforms and career fields and career types, uh, age, color, gender, all that stuff in the, in the audience because as you might imagine, this panel will talk a little bit about diversity and the challenges and opportunities for all of us in the maritime service and um, particularly for underrepresented groups, but that uh, doesn't leave anybody out because you're all going to be or have been shipmates, mentors, employers, bosses of, of all of the women on the stage and their peers and other uh, women and underrepresented groups throughout the community. Without further ado, I'm going to start just going down the line and ask uh, Ashley if you could start talking a little bit about your career arc, please. Absolutely, so I'm Ashley Wessel. Um, I started off as a Naval Academy grad in 2009 um, with a degree in electrical engineering. Um, I started my career off as a surface worker officer, did a tour on USS Wasp, um, and then I transitioned into the engineering duty officer community and went and got my master's also in electrical engineering. Um, and then I had now three tours as a, an EDO. Uh, the first was at Missile Defense Agency working with Aegis BMD, um, where we were installing combat weapons uh, systems on new ships. We were doing the new Baseline 9 integration. Um, I then went up to Bath, Maine, um, where I was the Aegis test officer, so in charge of a large team in a shipyard uh, where we were installing that new combat systems equipment um, and bringing the ship to life. Um, for the past couple of years, though, then I came back to DC. I'm now working at a program executive office, uh, IWS, uh, integrated worker system uh, for a sh surface ship weapon uh, where I'm part of the standard missile uh, development team where we're developing new missiles for for our fleet. Katie Gerhard Vasquez, um, I joined, let's see, I graduated from the Naval Academy in 2006 with the uh, undergrad in AA as well. Um, went to Waste City, was the gunnery officer and then quickly picked up an EDO option so switched over. I've been an engineering duty officer since 2008 qualified at CERMAC, so I'm touched a little bit of the, the fleet repair and modernization. Um, went up to MIT, got a degree in naval engineering and um, engineering program management, and then went down, worked at Surfland again as a LPD type desk officer, went down to Soup Ship Gulf Coast, was a PMR for the ship to shore connector down there, enjoyed a little too much king cake and crawfish, and then um, moved up to the program offices where I worked uh, PMS 501 with the LCSs, new construction, fleet induction, everything from BTAT, FCTs, and integrating with the fleet on the technical side, and then went over to 385, worked EPS, <coughs> including the first um, autonomous prototype that was installed on EPF 13, which I can talk about a little bit later, and then um, and started with the new EMS uh, design that's still under, under works right now. And now I currently work for Ms. Anderson and Daz and Ship's office as the director for surface combatants. Hi, uh, Captain Shannon Patterson. I have been in, uh, I got commissioned in 2000 from Old Dominion University. I was a geology major, rocks for jocks, I was on the crew team. Um, I wanted to be a veterinarian when I grew up, somehow majored in geology, then did ROTC, joined the Navy, became a surface warfare officer, um, and found out that I really loved that, and it just was a great fit for me. I uh, went on to postgraduate school, and that's where I got my master's in systems engineering. Um, I'm still a surface warfare, so I'm a little bit of the oddball of the group. I'm actually an acquisitions professional, um, but we work very, uh, very closely with the, with the EDO community. Um, mostly served on Amphib, so that is my that is my background as a SWO. Ashley and I actually served on WASP together. I was a department head, and she was one of the, the brand new divos. So I always love when we run run back into each other. Um, it was a flag sack with a strike group, so that kind of gave me a little bit different flavor than um, being on the amphibs. And I did a tour at Stay War where I did some of my acquisition work. Uh, my command tour was at a um, command called Beachmaster Unit 2 in Little Creek, which is one of the best kept circuits on the East Coast. Had a great time there. Finished up command, and then that's when I came into the acquisition uh, community <laughs> full force. Once we finish up our command is when we usually go into the acquisition tour. So I uh, came into PMS 407, where I worked uh, as the PAPA for the Cruiser Mod program for the last two years. Turned that over this summer, and uh, right now I'm in the middle of applying for PM jobs, but working in the NASA Transformation Office 
with the Naval Sustainment System Shipyards War Room, uh, looking at uh, days of maintenance delay on the uh, carriers and submarines in the public shipyards. Good morning, everyone. So my path is a little bit different. Um, I grew up in the Philippines, and I was going to college at that time. Um, during the 90s, the base back there was still open, and I'm a Navy brat, so um, I enlisted first. Um, went into aviation community, worked at VQ-1 out of Guam, uh, worked on EP Freeze, which was awesome plane to work on. Um, from there, I put in a package for booze and I got accepted. It's like a prep school, similar to NAPS. Um, I graduated there and got the ROTC scholarship, so I went to um, University of Southern California. Got my degree in computer engineering and computer science. And then I did my school tours first on a cruiser out of Yokosuka, Japan, uh, USS Vincennes, and then followed by USS McCluskey out of San Diego. Um, and then I went to Comnav Surf Pack as requirements analyst. From there, I put in my lateral transfer package to become EDO, and I got picked up. So they sent me to Naval Postgraduate School, got my master's degree in electrical engineering. Following graduation, I went to um, and. NSWC Port Wainini, I became the LC, LCS-1 project officer, so I did all the post-delivery post tests and trials um, on LCS-1, my entire tour, that's all I did, basically doing testing underway all the time, but it was a great job, I learned a lot. And then following that tour, I went to um, PC Ron to become a type of dev, and I think that's where I met uh, Katie, uh, the type on. And then I went to PEO, IWS, IWS-1, Aegis Program Office. I was the uh, test and evaluation deputy PAPM. And then after that tour, I went to PAC Fleet N43, and I became the uh, C5I modernization officer. Uh, we provided the oversight on all the modernization packages that went into all the PAC Fleet ships. So um, it was an interesting job going through avails and making sure that all those installations get finished on time when you have a four-star asking why isn't this done yet. So following that tour, I came back to the program office. Right now I'm working at IWS2 as a AMDR deputy um, for Captain Hall. Beth Rachel, so I was the Academy class of 10 and the bookend, so I was the first class to integrate submarines. So we have the full spectrum here in that time. Um, following the new pipeline, I went to the USS Wyoming Blue out of Kings Bay, Georgia, 742, cowboy up. Came to SSP, uh, Strategic Systems Programs, and the Operations Evaluation and Training Branch. While I was there, I got my first master's in ops research, um, and then subsequently a lateral transfer to the engineering duty officer community. All of my time as an engineering duty officer has been with Strategic Systems Programs, so I started in Missile Engineering Branch, focusing on uh, performance evaluation and problem investigation for the Trident II D5 and D5 LA missiles. I've been in the launcher branch where we looked at, um, we're responsible for the development of the launcher system to support the Trident missile from the Ohio class submarine as well as Columbia class. I went to Naval Postgrad for a second master's in systems engineering, and I am currently at Conventional Prompt Strike as the Deputy Acquisition Director. So Conventional Prompt Strike is responsible for the Navy's hypersonic weapon system development delivery.